uh, the project um, started in 2011. Previously, the, uh, the scheme had crumbled because the farmers they were growing just maize with the wheat, uh, and there came a time where the uh, Indians were swept away, the irrigation collapsed. Then, around 2011, Chelsea came and the Italian NGO they introduced the citrus. And currently using the tree, the latest tree sensors that we did this previous year, we've got 66 hectares, 66 hectares of oranges. And we are looking this season projecting, we are projecting to getting something like 1,000 tons, 1,000 tons for this current season. So the the idea of growing citrus. Um, uh, it's like it is a market oriented approach because the, the introduction of uh, the bed producing company by shapes it ensures a, a, a reliable market for these farmers. So, every day they've got a memorandum of understanding with shapes or bed producing company for part of their produce. So, we have got a ready buyer. That's the first step in regards to citrus. Then, secondly, we there are plans to venture into other markets like. Uh, the local or the the export market and the, we, are, we are yet to be global certified but the plans are in motion the we're working with our partner Chelsea uh, are opens the I want to help the farmers to to be able to to meet the export requirement and global certification so we are starting this year as a trial we're starting with the, the 2.5 hectares which is the demonstration block this this block uh, we Chase is partnering, or maybe Trust is partnering with the, his development partners in Nottingham, who is a mentor to, to this scheme, so that we'll be able to, for a start, at least 100 hectares, 100 tons from, from this demonstration block. That's the first uh, issue with regards to Citrus. Then, secondly, I have, uh, we have good partners that we're working with. First, Nottingham, Nottingham is our mentor. And he also helps us with the inputs, like the fertilizer, we are getting ammonium sulfate from Nottingham. And the amount we are getting depends on our requirement for the year. And each and every year, they help us with that regards. And also, too, uh, Nottingham is, is providing a mentorship role. We have good farmers currently who are sort of on attachment at Nottingham. They are working there so that maybe they. We have people who are knowledgeable side that when we decide to, to explore the the outside market, we have got individuals. So far we've got the people who are turning into him as speakers, then we've got some ladies who are working at the picture with the idea of um, that we we the we want to empower the farmers side that they are better equipped to be able to, to reach those higher paying markets because that's the plan for the next year, two years. We need plans global certification so that maybe we'll be able to access better big markets. But alternatively, the bed reducing market is always there because that's another partner that we are working with at Shash. We are working with the bed reducing company in, owned by Shapes. And the, the bed reducing company, they are currently they are the main buyer of our oranges. But we have got uh, alternatives. Let's say maybe we have got some local buyers. Uh, we used to say, but the major buyer was the BBJ or Ships, the producing company. The second the producing company, they help us on a technical aspect. Uh, they at times they help us with pump repairs or maybe to attend to any electrical faults or other operational faults. They are there to help us. Then, of course, we are working with the government departments like Agritex. They have a field officer and they also help to train the farmers on global gap certification on maybe good economic good economic practices. We are working with the agritex, then also the Department of Mechanization, the times hold trainings to the farmers to look after their equipment and uh, things like that. So that's the first issue of citrus. And secondly, we we also have a a partnership or maybe a contract with the Sindico. This is a seed company. We are producing uh, sugar beans for seed. And, uh, for the past few years, we were doing contract farming with Sindico. 
and currently we've got 45 hectares under sugar beans with a contract with Silco. That's another important part that I will mention. And also, in relation to cropping, we also we are currently having it from the presidential input. The, when just by the gate, there is a 30 hectares pivot which we grew it. And 2022 has been one of the better years for the scheme because we managed to have the around March, we harvested maize, uh, 30 hectares of maize. Green, green millies? Yeah, then uh, we have green millies, then the remainder, the, the farmers, they, they take home for their own consumption. So we grow the 30 hectares, then around after March, we have a huge harvest of maize, we put the wheat that is on the other side. Then also all the pivots in between the citrus, this uh, sugar bean intercrop. And we're expecting, 25% increase from the previous year, the challenge of oranges. Okay. Then maybe I just touch the issue of major challenges. The issue of major challenges in the scheme, first is the issue of power. That's the first major challenge that I can talk about. We realized that in 2020 we lost about maybe 70% of our targeted yield. Instead of around 700 to 800, we got 250 because we did almost six months. You lost what? 70%? Yeah, 70%. We had uh, almost six months blackout that other year. Then in 2021, we had a transformer which was struck by lightning. And the scheme, uh, from their contribution they put towards their budget, they managed to purchase their own transformer from the Republic of South Africa. So that's the first major challenge that uh, the Shashi education scheme is facing.